guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. We are on Mackinac Island for the Grand Garden Show and I'm here with Jack Barnwell from Barnwell Landscape and Garden. He is the uh, designer of many of the gardens on this island, like 200? We, we, yeah, we have over 200 clients here on Mackinac Island. It's crazy. Yeah. So he's agreed to take us through one of his gardens here and kind of explain uh, some things about the house and how the gardens have evolved. So take us through. Take her away. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, we'll go right into this beautiful little gate here. And uh, yeah, this garden, this is called Stroh Cottage. We're right next to the Grand Hotel, the beautiful, iconic summer resort here on Mackinac Island. And this is the first cottage on the West Bluff. The West Bluff, this is all state park property. Mm -hmm. um, all of these are leased homes that uh, the, the owners of the homes have, have 99 year leases. They can pass on to generation to generation and such, but, uh, but they don't own the property. So there's a lot of restrictions on what they can do, not only with the architectural details and work on the house and such, but also in the garden. So all of our landscapes on the West Bluff and the East Bluff of Mackinac Island have to be approved by the state park. This one underwent a huge, huge renovation about three or four years ago. We so started in this on this. garden's only three or four years old. Correct. Yeah, every single thing you see was uh, is is more or less fresh planted. Wow. Um, we started with a complete blank slate on this whole landscape here. Um, so the front, like for example, they had the previous owners had a bunch of large trees blocking the view, mm -hmm. and and uh, and it just wasn't the the formal kind of clean cut, colorful West Bluff look mm -hmm. whatsoever. So we you know, added in all these new beds, did this beautiful walkway. In fact, mm -hmm. this walkway, this is the original brick that was, that was here on the cottage and the original brick walkway. And we found it, it was underneath about three inches of grass, soil and grass oh and everything, buried underneath there. And we scraped this all out, had to tear it all up and relay it. But that's how we kind of figured how the historic layout of this walkway and everything is and this whole front landscape really was designed around the original entrance into the house do you know how old this home is yeah this one was built in uh the late 1880s about 1888 1889 wow. uh this cottage was built and really much of the west bluff was the late 1880s and 1890s um, Interesting. You know, they weren't, they didn't have the technology and power tools and all those things that we do today. Mm -hmm. So they took a little bit longer. Some of these homes, you know, took four or five, even six years to construct, but, and they're still being worked on like constantly wow. to this day. But yeah, and this is one of my favorite gardens though on the island. I love the way this one flows through here. The, uh, just the cadence of the seasonal uh, blooms that come and go with the hydrangeas all in peak, peak form right now, of course. But there's a lot of really great treats, even in the spring with all the bulbs and everything mm. through here. And when we started, there was nothing. This whole side, there was not a single blade of grass. So even. all of this, all of this built up, all the everything rock wall, everything was, was done. New wow. Three years ago, all the trees, everything. There was a 50 foot tall cedar hedge all the way along this whole property line. Wow. And it was so dark that not a single blade of grass would even grow. Oh. Um, so yeah, obviously we took the hedge out, all right. opened it up, lightened it up quite a bit. And now we have this meandering path uh, through the lawn that takes you up to this stone staircase. And this uh, staircase, it's lit and everything at night. Really, really beautiful. Just to look up through there mm. is super, super inviting, right? But yeah. It used to be just a two track like gravel road um, up to their barn because they have uh, horses and a barn. And historically there's always been a barn behind all these old beautiful cottages. But mm -hmm. this one was such a washout of gravel from years and years of just, you know, kind of being ill-maintained and, and all the water from all the way up on that whole hillside would rush down and underneath the cottage. Oh my word. And when we started on this one, we opened this uh, side little access door, which mm -hmm. at the time was like all rotten and falling apart. And there was two feet of water underneath the whole house. And it had just done that for probably like 50 years. Oh it had just been flooding. And so anyway, the house underwent a major renovation and tune up uh, at the same time that the, the landscape and gardens did. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I just love the way like 
the hostas and all the ground cover and stuff play with each other and the, the colors of the foliage and textures of everything are it's just beautiful. awesome. It's beautiful. And as, as complex and crazy as this garden looks, it looks like there's so much going on. This is a very, very low maintenance garden. You know, once it's packed this full with all these ground, ground covers cover, and sure. everything like mm -hmm. that, there's really no weeding to be done. You know, we trim at the trees and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, keep things clean and such, but it's not like your constant maintenance kind of a garden right. whatsoever. Do you have a favorite ground cover? Like something you use all over the place? Um, I love sweet woodruff. Mm -hmm. It's just so precious and, and dainty. And up here in Northern Michigan, um, our summers are a little bit cooler and it doesn't seem to fry out or yeah. anything. The little stars of uh, foliage stay green mm -hmm. and beautiful and lacy all summer. It does burn out a little toward the very end of summer, mm -hmm. but we often will underplant it under hosta, a still be, uh, ferns and brunera and stuff, mm -hmm. other shade loving plants that will, you know, just come up and cover it when it's burning sure. out. So what zone um, is Mackinac Island? Mackinac, zone? Mackinac Island has a lot of topography. So it up here on the bluff, we're probably more like zone four safely. Oh, okay. Right down on the water where the water protects from a lot of frost and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, we can get away with some zone five. Okay. Mm -hmm you know, plants, we have uh, some magnolia trees and some things like mm -hmm. that that are, that are quite stunning, but they just wouldn't do up here. Sure. It's really quite amazing that gardens look like this, and I've seen pictures and heard stories of what winters are like on this island. Oh, and yeah. it's just wild to think that all of these things survive and do as well as they do. Because tell us a little bit about the winters here. <laughs> it's cold. It's rough. Uh, I used to live here year round, and there are many, many days of, of just, you know, hibernation when you find a good book and mm -hmm. you just settle in because it can be negative 40 negative 50 with the wind chill and uh, and it freezes right up and everything and and puts all these gardens right to, to sleep mm -hmm. for sure which is good for gardens a lot of these plants need a hard frost they, ne they need to go through that period of time to be as beautiful as they are in the summer sure um, but it's tough on all these old cottages I mean they mm -hmm. are constantly being maintained all this old wooden painted faces are uh, exposed to so many elements sure. uh, that they have to be scraped, painted, you know, and, and tuned up uh, pretty well on a regular basis. The West Bluff especially, most of these homes, one whole side of them is painted every single year. Wow. So they just so get nailed. Every, yeah, every three or four mm -hmm. years, the whole house is repainted just constantly. So. Wow. A lot of maintenance. Yeah. So I see up there the Hakanakloa right off the bat. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It catches your eye it and does. really it invites you up here. Uh -huh. Like what's going on up here? It's different. It's the only place in the whole landscape we used it. Oh my goodness. So it's a, just a flowy, cool plant. We found this old rotty log way oh. up in the woods back here and laid it into here. And again, this is where that big gravel washout of a I can uh, imagine. of a road it's was. Steep. And we weaved this stone staircase up through here, planted this all heavy, heavy, heavy with all these ground covers and such, mm -hmm. and then rebuilt all these old stone walls. All these were here. They're, we rebuilt them and restacked them with all the original stone wow. on the original foundations of these 120 year old stone tiers. When we started this project, they had all collapsed and you could walk into those upper second oh, story windows. Wow. The soil was burying the entire back of the house and you could just walk right in. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, that was a lot of digging. Oh, uh, I bet. <laughs> that was a lot of digging. Now, a lot of your stone, does it come, it comes from a place did this come from the island or did it come from the i've heard that you guys use some stone that um is very similar to the stone that's native here on the yeah island. this all these stone steps anyway are are limestone they're from uh, wisconsin mm -hmm. they're from a very similar geologic vein as mackinac island okay. so the color is really similar they patina out and look a lot like our natural limestone that's everywhere mm -hmm. um, but but it's a lot harder okay. um, so our natural stone here has a lot more porosity to it so it breaks apart and things like that. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, stone quarries in the northern Michigan area but we don't really use a lot of that because it just doesn't hold up. Sure. Now these yeah. are beautiful huge yeah. pieces of stone and on this island like I've said in other tours there are no uh, vehicles like no trucks nothing like that so a lot of this stuff is done like 
by hand. M yeah. Muscles. This entire landscape was built by hand, uh, absolutely the old fashioned way. We All this material, all these stones, everything was brought on site by horse. Uh, the horses drop everything off and we uh, use big, you know, dollies and mm -hmm. wheelbarrows and, and, and shape and put this whole thing together. That's amazing. Now this view is stunning. Yeah. That is stunning. Yeah, those are the old tiers and everything like that. and. We're clearing off and cleaning a, a spot at the very top to uh, put a really charming little gazebo. Oh. Uh, we have the stone staircases already in, and that will be a gazebo little eagle's nest up there that has a, has a view out over the cottage of the water. Oh, wow. Yeah. That'll be amazing. Yeah, it'll be a treat. Do you have favorite plants that you use? Oh, gosh. Yes, I have many, many, many favorite, favorite plants. Many favorite plants. <laughs> I do. Um, if you had to do like three, three favorite plants that you use continuously through landscape, what would you say they are? I love astilbes. Mm -hmm. um, astilbes and brunera are fantastic. And, uh, and like I said, sweet woodruff. Mm -hmm. Those are probably my three favorite shade, um, you know, filler kind of They're plants beautiful. that are just stunning and they all go together mm -hmm. really, really well. Uh, in the full sun, hydrangeas, of course. And being on Mackinac Island, I have to throw at least a handful of lilacs into every single mm -hmm. landscape. So we use a lot of different varieties of lilac and mm -hmm. stuff like that. We've been really hot on the new Bloomerang mm -hmm. series from Proven Winners because, again, we can trim them back a little bit right after they bloom. We get a whole nother flush of blooms and people right. are like, are those lilacs? Because they're blooming in, you know, in the August. wrong time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is really fun. And mm -hmm. they make a great cut flower with their long, you know, stem mm -hmm. and, and, and foliage or the, uh, the fragrance is, is just awesome. It is a nice so. fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. So does this belongs to this house here? Yeah, this, it was just a, um, this was like a just rotten mess when we started, but it was just a storage shed kind of shack. It's, um, got really interesting windows. If you look through, uh, all these windows are original and, and on the back side there, all that really detailed stained glass work and stuff was, it yeah. was really odd for a West Bluff home to have that kind of detailing on a shed. Uh -huh. um, so we, you know, restored it and got it all uh, plumbed up and leveled up again. And now that's a, a private workout oh, weight room. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. So the, 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 uh, the owners can walk up through here at night, which is all lit beautifully at night, mm -hmm. you know, get their workout in and everything like that. And, uh, and then I guess they have to walk back down to the house right, for cool a off. shower. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. What we, a haven't great put, use. we haven't put in an outdoor shower yet. Right. I put that on my <laughs> list maybe. Uh, but this is uh, the horse paddock that goes uh, with this cottage. And, uh, it's, um, you know, this is pretty well how a lot of Mackinac Island horse paddocks look behind all these old cottages and stuff. Mm -hmm. Some of them, as you can see, the neighbors have a little bit more decorative, white, beautiful fence. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and others are a little bit more country, you know, country. Like yeah. It. And it's, yeah. it's just totally fine. They yeah. keep a horse in here all summer long. Um, she might be in the barn now. Her name is Miss Montana. Oh, <laughs> is she one of the great big? They've got some beautiful horses here on this island. What breed are they? Many of them are uh, a lot of the big working horses are Pertron, kind of Belgian cross, mm -hmm. you know, big old dre draft horses. Uh -huh. But um, hey, Dave. But um, many Hi. of the riding horses that, uh, or, or kind of recreational horses that a lot of our clients have, um, it's been really popular recently to all have Frisians. Frisians. Yeah. yeah okay. So many of my clients have Frisians and they are beautiful. They are beautiful. Unbelievable. Just pure, you know, glossy black and mm -hmm. the way they, you know, prance about and, and carry themselves is stunning. They're a great carriage horse, but they're also a really, you know, fantastic riding horse. They stand really well. They're friendly and, uh, and very trainable. So they've kind of been the, the new Mackinac Island, you ah. know. It, and there, I read that there are 500 horses on the island, approximately over 500? Uh, the, yeah, in the peak part of summer, there's up to 550, even 600 horses, wow. uh, which is more than there are year-round residents. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And how many year-round residents? 600 -ish? They say there's 450 to 500, oh, but in a cold I was... winter, I think it's more like 300 people get the heck out of here. Mm -hmm. But there are some diehards that are here every single winter and they really are the heartbeat of Mackinac. They keep this whole place 
like working Brenning. and going. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the big work on all these homes and hotels, you know, all that happens in the middle of the winter. Mm. Yeah. Right, got to do it sometime. And there's right. tons of people that visit this island every single summer season, it seems. Oh, it's yeah. always busy. This is a major, major national tourist destination. Mm -hmm. So once summertime hits, it's showtime. Sure. You know, everything has to be done, mm -hmm. painted, cleaned up, looking stunning. And a lot of these clients that own these private homes, you know, they want to be up here and use these summer cottages. Sure. And fortunately, we have, you know, people like this uh, left in the, in the country and in the world that that really truly care about historic preservation. They're mm -hmm. preserving all these old cottages and, and structures and still living the Mackinac lifestyle mm -hmm. like keeping the carriages all working and up and horses and you know, using these homes and spaces as they were intended from sure. the very beginning. Mm -hmm. so. Well, there's some gorgeous color up here. Yeah, that was a little trial there of uh, what we could do with hydrangeas. The ones on the left were treated with a little aluminum sulfate. Uh -huh. Uh, to see if we could get them to turn a nice blue. Our natural soil here is very basic. We've got a lot of limestone, a lot of alkalinity in the soil. So typically your macrophylla hydrangeas are going to be pink like that. Right. Um, and they're just spilling out of that wall right now, which is awesome. Yeah. But, but, Perfect uh, for the show. But yeah, and this, mm -hmm. this was just a fun way to show uh, treated and not treated and we got those to turn pretty nice and blue. That's amazing. Uh, How many treatments do you do to get that? Do you that think? That was just one. Just one. Yeah, just one uh, kind of sprinkling of uh, aluminum sulfate. Wow. It comes in a powder form. A spoma makes uh, a yeah. great, you know, product uh -huh. for it. And uh, and yeah, that's all it took. It's just one on those and um, they're not as blue as we probably could have got them, but that, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're pretty. What pH um, is the island? like average sometimes you can find ph is even as high as like eight okay you know, 8.5 wow. very very alkaline which is you know dangerously high and right and plants will show you and let you know when they're when they're kind of reaching into some of those veins there's a mm -hmm. lot of underwater springs and stuff throughout the island mm -hmm. um, and uh if a, a big tree is planted and it gets some roots down into there well there's water in there and you mm -hmm. know it's 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 sucking some water out but Sometimes that can be really, really limey, and the tree will turn all uh, you typically very, very neon, neon yellow oh, okay. because it's the pH imbalance is cutting its access to iron, manganese, boron, other other nutrients that that tree needs, right. and so it'll show you with uh, a deficiency a nice like show that. Of, yeah. yeah, color. Yeah. So now, did you do all of these pathways as well? Uh, this was this path was laid before my time here on the island uh -huh. and, and having this company, um, but we have done a lot of renovations and a lot of work on this property, um, adding new pathways in and tying into the old, adding uh -huh. a lot of new gardens and stuff like that. Um, there's a few beds here that are just planted and, and were just created, working around all these old sculptures and mm -hmm. walls and. A lot of this stuff was uh, has been here for a long time. A lot of these sculptures and pieces have been here uh, for, for well over a hundred years. Wow. So some antique benches and stuff up through here uh -huh. that you know we try and feature and show off through the. I like the islands. They're fun. Yeah. A lot it, of colorful annuals in that one. Yeah. Oh for my goodness, sure. it's beautiful. How many annuals do you think? Do you have any idea how many you've put in this garden? In this garden alone? Uh -huh. uh, well, the front, as you'll see, is really popping and showy. So mm -hmm. I bet you there's. Uh, if we broke it down into like cases uh -huh. of 10, you know, four inch pots, um, there's probably about 500 cases. Oh my gosh. On See, this biggest property. bang for your buck for uh, color uh, is yeah. a, a put some annuals in. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one is definitely flush with color. And, mm -hmm. you know, an island like that all planted up really, really shows well uh, from the road and from the entry when they have guests and things like that. They come in this, this gate over here and it just invites them that color, like, it draws oh, what's yeah. going up there? Yeah, yeah, it draws them up mm -hmm. into this garden and meander all through the lawn. It's stunning. It is yeah. beautiful. And you can see a lot of these homes, the architecture on them, all the crazy detail, not only in the shingle work, but the paint work as well. There's many different colors mm -hmm. on the home here that, again, takes so much maintenance to keep that all tuned right up like this. Right. And all the leaded glass and window work is... It is you know, stunning. You just don't see work like this being done anymore on no. any kind of new construction. So it's really special to have it so well maintained yeah, like this too. preserved for us to see it. Yeah. We just put this waterfall in and this, actually this whole entire garden we just put in last year. 
um, all up through here. This was a solid cedar hedge all through here and you couldn't even see the water or anything from the house nor could you see the house across the lawn or anything. Mm. Um, so open this right up and put this waterfall meandering through here. It's a really neat kit from Aquascapes. Oh. They, um, they sell these uh, pondless kits. So all the whole water reservoir is underground there. Uh -huh. um, and the homeowners have a remote control for it. That's cool. In the, in the house and they can just turn it up and it literally will turn up like the volume wow. of water. So at night it echoes all through the house and the bedrooms and wow. yeah, it's sweet. Pretty easy to set up then? Very easy, yeah. You order those kits and every single thing comes in a box. Wow. Yeah, they really We need to it. look into one of those, Aaron. I know, <laughs> they have it dialed in, it's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Wow, so we've made a loop kind of around another home here. Yeah, we just looped up through Stroh Cottage and came down through West Wind Cottage. The front of West Wind is uh, one of my favorites. Just such cool detailing yeah. up there. Those little curves and mm -hmm. everything up in that upper screen porch. And, uh, and then again, of course, the iconic Grand Hotel. Even that face of the hotel is not exactly ugly to look nope, at. You nope. know, I, think it's I wouldn't just, complain about no, that. It's not beautiful. at all. And then the views, of course. Right. I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, the Straits of Mackinac. Mm -hmm. All that fresh water is um, a real treat for sure. We're very fortunate to live and work up here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, Jack, thank you so much for touring us through these gardens. I know that you guys probably really enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful color, all the beautiful plants and hearing from the man who is behind all the designs. So thank you so much. You bet. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.